First person I've interviewed with a bulletproof vest on. <laughs> why? <sighs> Question is, why, the, why you don't got one, Smalls? It's, it, it, it's rough out here, man. After you get hit up once or twice, you know, your mind just starts, your mind starts going. So whatever you can do to try and prevent getting hit again, so this is not for show. This is not an act. No, no, nah, nah, this is really me. This ain't no You didn't come Jesus on the interview just to look different me. and be different. Hey, I'm going to wear a bulletproof vest. No nah. one else has come on and sat on the white couch and wore a bulletproof vest before. So I'll be the first one to do it. Right. Nah, this, nah, not a, no pump fake in my ways, man. If you know me, you listen to my music, you know everything's a hundred. You've been shot before. Unfortunately. Uh, you said once or twice. Was this all at one time, or were there different incidents you've been shot? No, it was. It, I'd have been in several situations that in, that involved guns, you know. But this was the first time where it was one situation where I had got hit two times: one in the arm, and then caught one in the hand. Mm. Now, what led to the uh, the shooting? <sighs> it was, some Home Alone robbers, man, like, <laughs> if you watch Home Alone, Joe Pesci and Marvin, whatever, they need to tag along with them because they wasn't, it, it, it was amateur night, man. You know, they try to sneak up behind me. I turn around. Well, they're sneaking up behind me. I got mine on me. So I'm, I feel him sneaking up behind me. I just got good senses as it is. So I feel him sneaking up behind me. I'm turning around, drawing. I'm about to draw down on him regardless. Little do I know, he's already got his on me. So as he's seeing me turn around, he, I don't know who started, I don't know who started dumping first, but long story short, man, we exchange shots two, two feet away from each other. So I'm just blessed to be here, man. So this is point blank range. Point blank range, literally. Like, it couldn't, it, we, we couldn't have been no closer, man. How old were you? What age were you when this happened? This was no more than three months ago. Oh, very recent. Very recent. Um, do you feel like you've recovered from the incident fully yet, or is there still some <sighs> ways to go with that? I mean, I'm on a perk right now for the pain, man. Don't get me. <laughs> I'm built for this shit. I'm built for the, you know what I'm saying? I'm strong, man, but I'm definitely still going through pain. Like, as far as my hand goes, I ain't got no feeling in my pinky, you know. I, you know, like, the whole right side of my hand just numb. Like, I'm definitely still feeling it, man. I still sock. I'll still sock somebody, but my right hand, my hand, my, my, my right hand down bad, man. Was this a, a home invasion? They knew you were gonna be there. Was this one of those? They didn't think you were gonna be there. Was this a, a random thing? You just uh, we're just gonna kick this door down and. It definitely wasn't random. You know, inside job type shit. They might have thought I was there. They might have not thought I was there, but I was there, and you know, it went from there, man. Basically, they it it, it would have been a home invasion. They tried, but like I said, home alone robbers, man. They ain't get the job done, man. Fucking goofies. Now, how many times? Uh, were you shot at? You said you were shot twice. That that actually happened. But how many right. times do you think you were you were shot at? <sighs> I don't know if you can remember or if anybody said, "Hey, you know, you were shot at this many times." Well, I mean, the police didn't come, so it wasn't none of that, man. I got to, you know, what I'm saying, I got to doing. I, I'm cleaning up blood and whatnot, so I'm not. I, ain't nobody tell you tell me, oh, you got hit this money many, many times. Uh -huh. So blah blah blah. What, what, what uh, caliber it was? Blah. It might have been a. It might have been a nine or three eighty. Ain't no telling, man. But like, long story short, nobody. Probably like four or five shots. He let off four or five. I let off four or five. I mean, you know, you that close to each other and you dumping at each other. It ain't gonna last too long. Mm -hmm. Now, um, did you realize right away you were shot? I mean, I'm bucking, and I, I, I catch one, I smack the ground, and I raise again because I'm thinking he might try and run up on me. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I thought I might have caught one in the gut. Thank God, you know what I'm saying? I only caught one in the arm, but I mean, I, I definitely, <laughs> yeah, I knew I got shot, all the blood and et cetera. You know when you get hit. Did you have a vest on at the time? No. I did not have this mug. The, the, <laughs> the day after I got hit, I'm back on the block. 
The day I, I'm at the ER for it happens at two in the morning. I'm back at the I'm, I'm at the ER there for like three hours. Come back to the spot. I'm already back jugging. Unfortunately, you know what I'm saying. But uh, yeah, man. I mean, yeah. Okay, um, let's uh, get into a little bit more detail. When you get shot, for somebody watching this that's never been shot before. What does that actually feel like? I wasn't feeling shit at the time. My adrenaline was rushing so bad that I really didn't feel nothing. I mean, I knew I got hit. I smacked the ground. I got back up, ready to go, ready to go back. You know what I'm saying? It's a, shit got real. You got you to be on point regardless of the situation. You get hit in one arm, use your left hand. You get hit in the left hand, use your right hand. You know? But I mean, uh... I didn't start feeling pain till like 20 minutes, man. I'm I'm running around. <laughs> I'm running around doing the most after the first situation. Whenever the situation first happened, because I'm thinking one time's about to pull up. But I mean, I'm, thank God they didn't. And uh, I didn't. Adrenaline goes, man. You don't feel shit for real until about 20 minutes. Mm. But you did see blood. You did see yourself leaking, or did you not realize 20 minutes altogether what was really going on? I'm leaking. I'm leaking blood and I'm cleaning blood at the same damn time. Cause like I said, I think 12 is on the way. I think, you know what I'm saying? It's two in the morning and it sounds like fucking 4th of July. Bah, 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 mm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm about to, uh, I think 12 on the way. I got to clean shit up. I'm leaking while I'm leaking while I'm cleaning it up. I'm cleaning up, but there's blood falling behind me. So I got to double back, clean that up. Then it got to the point I was feeling so woozy. I'm just like, hey, we got to go to the ER. We got to go to the ER, plain and simple. Do you drive yourself? Is somebody taking you? Not, no, nah, my people drove me. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you get to the ER. When you get to the ER, is it like the movies? You know, like, I'll see a movie and it's like the guy's stumbling, he's been <laughs> shot, he barges in and everybody freezes and they go grab a stretcher and, oh, let's get this guy put down and right away you bypass everybody else that's waiting in the ER. Was it like one of those type of situations? Pretty much, man. I mean... By the time I got there, I was starting to get a little woozy, mind you. You know, I, I mean, I popped two little weak-ass Vicodins on the way to try and help the pain, but those are Vicodins, man. That ain't, <laughs> did not do shit. Uh, I get in there, I got a little towel wrapped around me or whatever, but that really wasn't stopping the blood for real. So I rush in, I'm, I just got hit up with blah, 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 blah. And like you said, it's like the movies. The e One doctor comes out, two... Two doctors, five doctors come out before you know it. There's ten doctors. Mm. You, you get over here, get over here. Now you laying on the stretcher. They cutting your shirt up. All that. I had the I had the Michael Brown shirt on me. Matter of time, they had to cut up. Strong circumstances, like strong, like that's a circumstance. Strong coincidence, man. Now you said you took two Vicodin on your way to the hospital before this, and I should have asked you this before. Were you under the influence of any drug uh, prior to? Uh, the shooting? Uh, right whenever the situation had happened, man, I had just woke up out of a, like, big Thrax coma. I was facing Thrax before I had passed out, you know, took a little half a bar to help me. I don't, I, I did not fuck with pills before I get hit up, man. Now I got, I'm on the per perks. I, wh wh whatever it is that's helping my pain, I'm with that, man. I ain't never used to rock with pills. I'm against the pills, but the pain real, man, so I gotta, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, <laughs> well, the reason why I ask if you were on something is because maybe that's why you, I know you had adrenaline going, yeah. and that's its own drug if you want to think of it as a drug, but uh, the reason why I ask is because you didn't really feel it for 20 minutes, so I'm, no, I'm wondering Nah, I wasn't on no speeders. I was more on downers. Like I said, I woke up out of a gas coma and a little half a bar just to help me sleep. You know but what you, I'm saying? But you weren't sober. I was, when whenever happened. I woke, I've I probably been passed out for like an hour and a half, two, three hours maybe. Anybody who gets off all that, they know for a fact when you wake up, you still be a little off it. And I mean, shit, I mean, I was still on point, but I was lacking, man. You know, God, God definitely had a motherfucker that night. I'm wondering if you were sober, if you would have felt the shooting uh and the, mm. and the pain and the bullets or whatever the sensation is. I wonder if you would have felt it earlier than 20 minutes had it not been you i don't know man because i mean <laughs> this ain't no movie shit but i mean in the movies people get hit up and they 
that, that, that they keep on moving for a few minutes at the minimum. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, shit, if I wasn't sober, I still probably, even if I wasn't, even if I just didn't wake up off of that, I still definitely would have, I wouldn't have felt it until about 15 minutes later. Just be off the strength of adrenaline and uh, you still got to be, you still got to be ready for, you know what I'm saying? You, you don't know who doubling, you, you never know, man. Double back, you never know. You got to stay on point. You got to be ready, you know? Do you want to show the bullet wound? I mean, we got the one in you know, right there on the elbow or whatever, elbow, forearm, whatever you want to call it. You, you see it? It went in and out? Yeah, it went in and out. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Matter of fact, if you get hit up, pray to God you get hit in and out. Because if not, you about assed out, man. They got to dig the bullet. You're not all the way assed out. It depends on the situation. But they got to dig the bullet out you. They got to... Uh, Sometimes they leave a bullet there. They might just... Yeah, you know, a lot of people uh, get, 10 years ago... And they still, they, they still got a bullet in them, wherever it may be. They mm -hmm. still got a bullet in them. So that's the end. That's the out. You know what I'm saying? It ain't shit, man. Like I said. What about the hand? Oh, uh, the hand. That, that, it wasn't, that wasn't a direct hit. That was light shit, man. That was, that was minimum. You know okay. what I'm saying? I had got hit, and I actually used that hand because my arm was auto. I had no feeling in my right hand. Like I said, I still damn near don't got feeling in my pinky. So, I mean, I had to switch to the left hand, and that motherfucker was all the way bleedy. But, hey. Did, did you think for a second, I might have to have my arm amputated? The, <laughs> the doctor told me before, I, I was snapping on the doctors and shit. They asking me, you know, the bitch-ass police. And that's another thing, too, man. You get hit up, do not talk to the police. It ain't that hard, man. Make up a false story. If you're a real motherfucker, give a fake description. You know what I'm saying? I know who popped me. If I was a bitch ass motherfucker, they'd be in jail right now. I'm not a whole ass motherfucker. Never have been and never will. <laughs> I'm not, no, no Sammy the bullshit over here. But, uh, I had forgot the question, bro. What you say, bro? Oh, I was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off it, man. What you say? Did you think your arm was going to be amputated at, at any given time. Nah, because like I said, they told me that, uh, I, the doctor told me I just might never be able to feel feeling in my, the, my whole half of my hand in general, matter of fact, because I was all the way numb. I'm still damn near a little bit numb, mm -hmm. but uh, nah, nah, nothing amputated. Thank God. So what was the recovery process like? Did they have to uh, put you into surgery? They have to just stitch up the wounds that was in and out? See, that's the thing that's crazy because the doctors and the physical therapy people I'm rocking with, the doctors I had went to, everybody they told me they do not under fucking stand how I didn't have a broken bone. So I should, during recovery, I should have been slinted up. Uh -huh. I should have, but, but, but I wasn't because, quote unquote, it's a flesh wound where it just enters and it goes out. But, uh, yeah, I definitely had no surgeries because I didn't have no broken shit. You know what I'm saying? They definitely had to stitch me up and, you know, Right after, mind you, day of, I'm back on the block doing what I do, man. I The money don't stop, so I'm still clutching. I'm still clutching big shit while I've got st stitches in my hand, like my right hand numb. I can't feel shit. Like, so, I mean, recovery could have been a little bit better, but, you know, living, living a certain life, you got to, it, it, it was what it was. I ain't have no choice. I had to still be on point, man. What was so, doctor's orders? Doctor's I know you orders was to chill the motherfuck out. And if I, <laughs> I mean, I can't tell the doc, yo, hey, yo, doc, I'm, as soon as I leave here, I'm about to be back at the spot looking out windows and clutching chops and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but I mean, doc's orders was to chill out, my guy. You know what I'm saying? Don't do any, don't just, just chill out. No uh, thoughts of death. Nobody said you could die from this uh, wound. None of that. Nah, not from the wound, but I definitely could have been one dead motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? A, 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 a shootout with an individual three feet away, man. You beyond blessed. You're blessed to make it up, man. Like, Lord real. If you, if a motherfucker don't think Lord real, I don't, I don't, I don't want him around me. Period. Now, uh, was there any re rehabilitation needed? Damn, damn right. I, matter, I just quit physical therapy, matter of fact. Like, I still got to do exercises every day. I just did exercises before I slid here. 
Matter of fact, like, the physical therapy shit real. You got to do all that if you want to heal correctly, you know. And Why'd you quit? <sighs> Talked about how real it is. Motherfuckers say, motherfuckers say trappers are criminals or wah, 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 woo, 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 man. But like doctors are the real criminals, man. It got to the point I'm going to physical, ther I'm going to physical therapy and we doing the same exercises every time and y'all buzzing my damn head for these sessions. I could do these exercises at the crib. You know, I do this shit on my own time. I ain't lazy. I'll do this shit on my own time. If I ain't in the studio, I'm jugging. If I ain't jugging, I'm you know, getting my hand exercises on, you know. Now, how long before you actually hit the studio since the incident? Uh, how quick or how long before you actually record a song again? I mean, I didn't want to... Where the stool was at at the time, I didn't want to be recording there because, you know, you got headphones on. You got to... You cannot hear shit. And ain't no telling what's happening when. I mean, it just, you, just, you just never know, man. It could happen today. It could, it could happen tomorrow. But, like, uh, you can't hear shit. So it got to the point I had to move my studio to the homeboy's crib. Me, so that was probably, like, four or five days later. Yeah, that was four or five days later when I... Five, yeah, five days later when I moved shit to Shorty's crib. and I got to just dropping shit. Tra trap over ASCAP on the way. Trap counselor out now. I got to record an ASAP. So four or five days later, you're back recording again. Yeah, I had to get back to work. It's, uh, it's my passion. It's what I do. Now, um, how long before you have sex again? <laughs> Since the shooting. You know, you could have sex. You, you could have a sex. You, you could have some sex the day off. You could have sex ASAP, man. It don't matter. You could have sex three Well, it depends later. on the injuries. But with your injuries that you had, being shot in the arm and you're, you're, you're not feeling your own. Oh, arm. you could uh, ASAP. ASAP, your arm good, bro. Your arm good. That don't matter. That don't mean shit. You right back. You right back in her. <laughs> so you had sex ASAP. ASAP. <laughs> now, um, at this point, uh, as far as the numbing, it's the whole arm, or is have have things subsided where it's just parts of the arm. Right here is about hard as a fucking rock. If you feel a rock outside on planet Earth and feel my elbow, this shit is ridiculously hard. That's my elbow area, where the exit wound is type shit. The entrance wound ain't nothing. You go down to my elbow, it still kind of feels bruised. And mind you, this is months later, man. So, mm. but bullets moving boo cool fast. So I don't care what you get hit with, but if it's going boo cool fast and it's hot as hell, that shit gonna hurt up some months after. It could take, Doc said it could take two months, three months, a year. Ain't no telling. You just gotta leave that up to Lord. You can't. You, you leave that up to. You can't stress Lord, and you can't stress your nerves. They move at their own pace. Ah, uh, I see. So at this point, uh, what can you feel and what can't you feel uh, on your arm? The index finger, middle finger. Give a motherfucker the middle finger still. Finger Gucci. You know what I'm saying? But these two fingers right here, man, they down bad, bro. Numb. Where I got the Get It How You Live tattoo. You know what I'm saying? Mister Get It How You Live trap counselor. You know what I'm saying? That shit numb. Numb as fuck. Unless I, and then I take a perk to quote unquote extra numb me, really to just block the pain, block the pain, whatever you want to call it. But I, I'm numbed up, man. Yeah, I, I just, I just got to keep on doing these exercises. I'll be straight. So have some feelings of your arm come back since the shooting? Definitely, because at first I couldn't. I couldn't fucking lift a remote without being in agonizing pain. I couldn't change a channel without being in I couldn't pick up my phone, nada. Now I'm, I roll a backwood, I, I do the most, I get to edit in my own songs with this, with this hand, excuse me, excuse me again. I get to edit in with these, I get to, I, 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 I'm managing, you know. The physical therapy, do you think that helped get some of the sensation back? Or do you think naturally in time without the physical therapy, you would have eventually gotten it back? Uh, without physical therapy, I wouldn't have got it back because I wanted to know what, I'm not a physical therapist. I don't mm. know what exercises to do, you know? But once they got me hip to, oh yeah, you need to do this, you gotta do that. Here, get this little rubber band, get this little uh, therapeutty, it's like little, Play-Doh shit, whatever you want to call it, to use for uh, exercises and et cetera. After I, they got me hip, and yeah, that shit helped. 
Any other complications? Do you have a sensation when it's cold outside? Do you have a sensation when it's when it rains? Definitely. If it's cold, you definitely going to feel that shit. And mind you, I don't even got a bullet in me. But that shit, the cold weather fucks with you. Even with the bullet out? Even with the bullet out. Facts. Now, medical uh, bills can be expensive. <laughs> uh, is this something you had health insurance before the incident? Run off on the plug twice. <laughs> I muff, man, so many people got medical bills and they just say, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong, medical bills be high as hell, but not everybody got the paper. Even if you got health insurance, they'll still bust your head. They still ain't showing love. Like, if you, uh, that's damn wrong. Like, lawyers and doctors, especially doctors, man, biggest criminals in the world. I don't care. I don't give a fuck what nobody said. Did you have health insurance, though, before the incident? Or? Yeah, luckily I did. So on certain things, I was able to catch a break. Mm. I was able to catch a break, but like there's some things that are fucking wrecks. Y'all are gonna have to catch me in person and do some do some extra shit to get that out of me. <laughs> Has this incident changed your outlook on life? Yeah, definitely. In what ways? I've always been a spiritual person. The day of, I was shooting a video. The day of, I prayed to my man upstairs the night before i prayed to my man upstairs day before that i did the same now i'm praying way more it, it's an eye opener you can't trust shit to everybody out there do not trust your partner i don't care how you can know you you can know somebody for four six years four five six seven years they'll still cross you out if they think you got a pretty penny man you doing better than them in a better position they fucked up down bad they peons they're gonna wanna get at you, period. It's the name of the game. If, if you ain't built for it, bye. Goodbye. Hindsight 2020, could this situation have been avoided? <sighs> Knowing what you know now, how things have played out now, do you think this could have been avoided or no? Unavoidable. I don't know, man. God. <laughs> Lord has a, a, a path paved, you know, and everything happens for a reason. If it was avoidable, it was avoidable. If not, regardless, the shit happened, you know. But, I mean, living a certain lifestyle, you are very likely to become victim or suspect. I prefer you to be the suspect. Do not be a victim. Uh, please don't go out bad. You got a family. You got et cetera to live for. But... Even if you ain't living a certain lifestyle, poor individual. Man, look at Vegas. 500 people just got hit up. Random individuals. I, uh, who knows what hundreds of those peoples were doing outside of that club and their personal lifestyle. But you could be on some innocent shit anywhere, minding your whole business, and still get the business. And still get the business, man. Do you rap different? Has this changed the direction of your music? Uh, I always rap that pain shit, but, uh, I, yeah, definitely some more pain, man. Life-changing situations, you know what I'm saying? Which has been my whole life. But this particular situation, uh, closest a motherfucker don't ever got getting tricked to the streets. So, yeah, definitely, uh, I'm approaching the mic differently. Not differently, I'm on the same shit. I'm still D to Nero, but, yeah. Now, you've given us some advice throughout the interview, um, but somebody, okay, circumstances could be different for everybody, but somebody watching this just got and shot themselves. Any other advice, any general advice you would tell them, <laughs> uh, aside from what you've said already, if D anything? Don't do, what I, don't do what I did. Leave the ER and immediately get to doing the same shit that got you shot, finessing and woo, 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 and just negative shit for positive outcomes, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got their own situations, et cetera, but if you get shot, pretty please, go lay down, don't do what I did. Heal, heal properly, please, because getting shot is no joke. There ain't nothing cool about it. Your family crying at the hospital, ain't nothing cool about it. This shit is not a game. What you watch on the movies is real for some people, okay? So pay attention.